What's going on YouTube? This is Parker Light 88 coming at you with another video. And in this video, guys, we're going to be checking out the new patch notes for Power Rangers Battle for the Grid featuring Scorpina. So uh, I want to encourage you guys to come and join me around about 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on www.twitch.tv slash ParkerLad88 where we will do a real-time Parker Lab Parker Lad Discovers Scorpina where we figure out Scorpina together. So in the meantime, though, but yeah, I encourage you guys to, to come and check me out on there. We're going to be doing that later tonight, but let's go ahead and check out these patch notes. I think I saw like one change, but other than that, I've been staying off of social media so I can just be as surprised as possible with the new notes. So let's see, let us do see what the new changes are. So first we have major changes here. Let's check this out. We've heard your concerns and we agree. The small playable area felt like fighting in a phone booth, especially with the incredible mobility options available to the cast. We have doubled the playable area, and all stage environments have been modified to accommodate this change. Of course, this comes with several implications on gameplay and balance, so we will be monitoring player feedback closely as the meta shakes out. Ultimately, matches should feel a little bit more dynamic, with more focus on spacing and stage control, and indirect an indirect implication is that there are fewer touch of deaths. Okay, so yeah, well, honestly, that, that was one of the things I kind of worried. So, I mean, I never really cared, truth be told, but so basically, bigger stage, that's that's a pretty big deal. That's going to do, that's going to matter a lot in terms of like combo structure for characters and stuff like that. I'll be very interested to see how that actually shakes shakes up and how combos will change as a result of that. As far as whether there will be fewer touch of deaths, we'll actually see if that's a real thing or not. But I'm very interested to see what this actually looks like in the actual game when we actually stream Scorpina later. I'm also curious to see what that means in terms of the actual screen distance because when you back up to the edges of the screen there's a certain point in which a, an invisible wall appears and i'm very curious if that changes at all or whether it's just bigger space but yeah i wonder if this means that like more zony style characters might be a little bit more effective i'll be very, this is gonna be really interesting this to to see but um okay all right Megazord timers have been drastically reduced across the board. Level 2 Megazord timer now allows for roughly 2 Megazord attacks, while three uh, level 3 Megazord also allows just enough time for 4. This is to reduce the time players feel like they are forced to not play while reducing the impact of power. Yeah, I agree with that change. Um, and I, I can understand, so they, the, the last patch was like the first time actually experimenting with the Megazord meter, I believe. I believe when Lauren dropped, that's when they first implemented the Megazord meter. And now they're toning down the comeback factor that comes from the Megazords. So that's actually, that's actually, um, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with them toning down like um, the Megazord timer. I think that's a good, I think that's a good call. I'll be very interested to see how that impacts gameplay. Um, but like I said, I think that'll just, it'll reduce the comeback factor. It'll still make it a comeback factor, of course, but it just, it won't be like super, super, super comebacky. All right, bug fixes. Projectile handling improved, yeah, okay. Known issues. Gen Scott's flying knockdown, hit reaction, may cause erratic behavior in certain situations, okay. All right, so it looks like we've got a change to the Dino Megazord coming up first. Dino Stomp, damage has been reduced to 150. Dino Stomp, active frames decreased from 10 to 4, reducing likelihood of hitting more aboard enemies. Um, okay. Um, word on the street is that Dino Megazord is supposed to be best Megazord right now, mostly because of Billy Boot. Um, I don't know. Anyway, moving on to Draken. Fixed a physics box issue with standing heavy too it should be much more consistent in juggling follow-up i.e dragon is less likely to cross under juggling bows okay that's neat um i i kind of wish that they actually gave dragon some more changes because 
So the last patch was supposed to buff um, Drakenwrath, which was the heavy follow-up from Dragon Dash, which is the board special, the, the teleport. The teleport is supposed to be projectile invincible, right? And then the Dragon Wrath is also supposed to be projectile invincible. But when I tested it out, whenever you do really any of his follow-ups from Dragon Dash, none of them are projectile invincible, much less the, the much less Dragon Wrath. Um, so I kind of wish that they legitimately made that projectile invincible, like the patch notes said. Now, who knows? Maybe it's like a soft buff they didn't tell us about, and maybe they really did fix it, but I'm willing to bet they probably didn't fix that. Unless I just think Wrath is the wrong thing. Maybe Wrath is the slide, but uh, I think Wrath is the heavy, and yeah, I kind of wish, I kind of wish, wish, wish that 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 had the projectile invincibility that it claimed to have. All right, Mag Defender fixed a cancel fixed a cancel window that allowed Mag Defender to mash out of his own back special follow up. Really, hmm. I don't know what 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 that means, but okay. Dragon Armor Trini. So Dragon Armor Trini got a ton of nerfs in the last patch. So maybe this will maybe this will do something for her. Jet Rush launch speed improved. The time it takes for her to begin launching forward is reduced. Additionally, it's now special cancelable. Really? Between flames 22, 40, uh, 43, that doesn't really make it. Giving her a fake out option. S okay. So, hmm. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Jet Rush. So the speed has been improved. Special cancelable. What could that possibly mean? Or, I mean, S cancel, so you can press S to cancel. What could that possibly mean? And I wonder how that could actually help her out. Because she doesn't actually get the armor from it until she actually launches herself forward. So, being able to cancel that, how quick is the cancel? How practical is that going to be in combos? How practical is that going to be for, like, you know, using it as a fake out? I'll be very interested to, to see that. Uh, normal light attack damage increased to 50, that's nice. Mega beam damage uh, increased up to 140, that's nice. Mega beam, the SS variant, now have a very slight pull-in effect on juggling enemies, so it makes it combo follow-ups easier. Well, I'm very interested to see how that jet rush change affects Dragon Armor Train, but I don't think this makes her any better or worse of a character than she already was. I mean, the damage buffs are nice, and the Mega Beam pulling in characters like on Juggle also seems nice, but I don't really think it will do anything as far as her moving up or down the tier list, and I think some people were calling for uh, a few more buffs for Dragon Armor Training, so time will tell. Let's see, Jet Scott, super cinematic properties improve, should feel much more consistent. Alrighty, said, super cinematic properties improve, feel much more consistent, okay. Quantum Ranger, Virgil Ranger, fixed an issue that prevented jump and Quantum Leap after performing Formation Air Blade. Uh, okay, Crash Blades, Ground Bounce Effect, now a bit more consistent, Formation Air Blade. Okay, got you. So I guess it should be easier to combo from that now. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Lauren Sheba, Sitting Heavy now causes a limited spinning knockdown, mitigating her damage output from her Sheba stance loops. Standing heavy now causes a limited spinning knockdown. Well, this doesn't matter to me because I never use the standing heavy in her loops anyway, so... Okay. Samurai Fire is no longer considered a low hit and can be blocked while standing. Okay, so basically it's a mid now. That's that's cool. That means she can't hit you with the, 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 the low overhead, hard to almost unblockable situation. Um, but Lauren apparently still gets like really dumb damage so it means if you get hit with a flame carpet confirm she can still kill you for like one meter so lauren's still top tier i guess and it looks like that is it so really not too much to take away from these patch notes um the fact that samurai fire is no longer a mid definitely nerfs um lauren a little bit uh, because she doesn't have like those hard to blockable, almost unblockable situations on incoming or maybe just in neutral situations when you're in the corner. The fact that the, the fact that the screen is much, is supposed to be twice as big now. Um, I actually really wonder how it's going to affect characters, um, 
as far as like the as far as like the tier list is concerned i really i wonder how characters are going to move up and down the tier list as far as that is concerned because you won't be able to you know get to the corner so quickly and do those uh touch of death combos so i'll be interested to see how that affects uh certain characters um the spinning knockdown thing i never use it i never use her standing heavy when i start actually doing the loop so this doesn't really matter to me um quantum ranger hasn't changed that hasn't changed she hasn't changed Dragon Armor Train, I don't feel like her changes will make enough of a difference for her. Uh, I guess the big takeaway from this is the fact that the stage has increased in size. And my guess is that the reason why they didn't make a whole, whole bunch of character changes is because they really want to see how the screen size um, will impact the characters. And it might kind of act like inherent nerfs for the characters in and of itself. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, guys, that that is the patch notes for Scorpina coming up at the end of this season. As I mentioned before, stick around for later today, around about seven Eastern Standard Time. I will be streaming Parker Lab with Scorpina so we can figure out Scorpina together. And looks like that'll do it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about these patch note changes and I'll be back to you later with future videos. This is Parker Lab and I'll see you guys next time.